Roads to nowhere. For months now, Aid on Your Side has tried to get a straight answer as to why foster kids spent hours upon hours sitting in cars at gas stations. Well, today, DCF Secretary Mike Carroll and a team of experts hit the ground in Tampa to join us to find out why the foster care system is failing. Now, they're concerned about problems that Mark Douglas exposed in our Rides to Nowhere investigation. So, Carroll came to listen. Oh, he heard a lot today. Oh, he sure did. You know, we were shocked when we first saw these kids confined day and night in that gas station mm -hmm. parking lot week after week. And so was Secretary Carroll when he found out. Today, he brought a team of child welfare experts here to find out why that is happening. Right from the start, they heard from frustrated parents, foster kids, and even the statewide prosecutor. Mr. Carroll, I'm not attacking you at all, sir. But it's happening under your watch. DCF Secretary Mike Carroll and his team of experts are digging deep into foster care failures. And everybody's changing employment constantly. It's just a turnover. And it's and I think it's a grave turnover that shouldn't be happening. When you have so many different agencies contract DCF contracting with somebody who contracts with somebody else, potentially who contracts with somebody else, it's all diluted. And who do we really hold responsible? And this is what got that conversation started. Our stakeout of this Tampa gas station where we watched foster kids held in caseworkers' cars day and night. If Mr. Mark Douglas did not put this out, you would not be here. Eckert knew it. YFA knew it. They weren't going to say anything. They did not call you, Mr. Carroll, and tell you, hey, boss, we have a problem. We need some help. Eckerd manages Hillsborough foster care for the state, but Eckerd's lawyers insisted we had no legal right to attend last week's board of directors meeting. And they say to these guys, you're not coming into the meeting, despite what the department advises, and despite what the office of the governor advises, somebody should be able to say, bull. This is Florida, this is an open meeting. Former foster child Hope Ostry pleaded with Carol to help kids. You're not only our case managers, but you're basically our family. I, too, want to fix uh, both short-term and long-term. The DCF secretary tells me his team of experts are here to listen, to find out why the Hillsborough foster system is failing kids, and to hold providers responsible. At the end of the day, if this group decides that the reason why it's happening is because Eckert is mismanaging the program, will you fire them? Well, I have no problem holding folks accountable. Secretary Carroll expects his blue ribbon team of experts to spend about two weeks gathering information and talking to as many foster care workers, parents, and kids as they can. They're also counting on an inspector general's review and a sheriff's abuse investigation to shed light on why the Hillsborough foster system is failing, Keith. And that's an ongoing process, but is there any indication right now, early on, about what is the problem. Well, Carol told everybody today that Hillsborough County brings in more kids at a higher rate than anywhere else in Florida. In fact, they have more kids in the system than anywhere, nearly 4,000. They're overwhelmed, and they don't have the funds to go with it. So that's just for starters. Big state, a lot of numbers. Uh, a lot to work out here. Thank you, Mark, yep. for that update.